welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla June, Kale Barb on social media, and if you're wondering how I got this look, there will be a video on it. You've probably already seen it, because it should be posted before this one. Anywho, um, so today is going to be hopefully a brief video. I don't know. We will try. Um, it is going to be like my Sephora haul of stuff I've been getting, or I've gotten. I was supposed to do this haul like a month ago, and I was just like, I need to do it. I need to do it. So I'm going to do that now. So I am sorry for um, delaying this video. Um, I was also going to do a March favorites and I decided not to because it's like April 10th. So my hair is a mess. My hair is a mess. It's so long. I need to get a cut. Anywho, okay. So this bag is full of stuff that I've gotten in the last month or so so I'm just gonna start okay there are two things in here that are not in here so hold on I think that's it okay so I'm I'm going to just start um with this guy right here right here um this is a Sephora Rouge 2018 gift that they gave me um I just restarted my process um on Bruges and it's only April so we're not going to talk about that and I got once again which I am very disappointed in by the way because I got this last year and they really need to up on their gifts um if you know anything about being a Sephora Rouge member you literally have to spend a thousand dollars on makeup and I've done that once or twice and it's just it's just like maybe a thousand points I think a thousand points um but it's just it's just annoying because like I have this already and and don't mind like don't get me wrong it's very nice because it's it's small and it's cute and like it could go in and it's fluffy and soft like it can go in you know your purse or whatever but like, when I think about it, it's just like, guys, I, like, I got this last year, like, Rouge members spend a lot of money. You, you should be giving them a lot more than just this. This is just my opinion. Even, like, with the whole percentage, like, they had a spring discount for, like, certain members, and, like, VIB and Rouge had 15% off. And it kind of bummed me out because, again, we spend a lot of money in the store, or online and it's just like I feel like we should get more than that I think for uh, VIB it's 500 points and I and a thousand for uh, Rouge so there's like a big chunk of change like in between that and it's just kind of frustrating because it's just like like we deserve more I'm just saying that's just my experience I've seen a lot of people who agree so I don't know maybe that's just me being high maintenance brat but when it comes to makeup I mean I love deals I love discounts I love you know, like, the samples that we can get and the different little thingies we can get. It's just annoying sometimes because it's just, like, again, I feel like Rouge members should get a little bit more. That's just, like, there's no difference between Rouge and VIB sometimes. It's annoying. Anyway, that was my rant. Um, so the next thing that I have is the Tarte Skin Care Pack Your Bags 911 Under Eye Rescue Patches. This is a rebuy. Um, I've bought these before and they're perfect because I get really dry under my eyes. So if you have dry skin and you crease a little bit under your eyes, these are really good to do just on a daily basis. It comes with three packs. There's two, obviously one for each of it. Um, or you could do it like right before your makeup. Sometimes I do that. Um, I actually haven't opened that yet. I like to put them also in the fridge since they're real, so they get really cold. And I like to put them under my eyes. Um, you do leave these on for 10 to 15 minutes. I think I do more than that. I do everything more. Like masks, I do like, like my Sephora masks, I do an hour. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm just weird. Um... The next thing that I have, which is already open, but I will still show you and swatch it for you. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and M. Reezy Highlight. So I already opened this, um, and I've used it in my videos and my looks recently. I couldn't wait to film this video. I had to open it. I was just like, 
like the day that it went in stores I was there like that early afternoon I was just like I need it and they actually didn't have it on the shelves and I was like mm, excuse me um do you have the Anastasia Amorizi highlighter and they had to go in the back and get like a bunch and then they're just like here you go and I was like thank you and my fiance thought I was insane but this is what it looks like it is really really pretty like really pretty did I say it was really pretty because it so I'm just going to swatch a little bit. I like when my swatches are really like. Um, so that's what it looks like. It doesn't even like capture that much in the light. Because you see how it's like, it reflects really like gold. It's really, it's really nice. Um, I almost said pretty again, but it's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, the next thing that I have isn't actually from Sephora, but I'll show you it anyway. Um... It is the NYX Professional Makeup That's the Point on the Dot Artistry Liner. I'm actually going to use this in one of my next videos for a Coachella look. Um, it just pretty much makes dots. Like, I know Milk Makeup has, like, the makeup stamps, which I really want really bad. But, um, I thought this was actually really, like, creative. So, I bought this, um, so I can do a Coachella, another Coachella look, um, on my channel. Um, the next thing that I got, I also opened, but I have it here. It's what I grabbed earlier. Um, this is the Ciate, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, um, Glitter Flip. I got this because Jeffree Star had it and I was obsessed. And it really is, it's one of those where like acid dry, you go and it glitters. I have another one. I don't know what it's called, but it was from like the first collection and this is the second. This one's called Undressed. It's really cute. Um, so this is what it looks like. And here is a swatch. It's not going to actually, like, show the glitter, but this is what the color itself looks like. I love, like, the nudes, and when it dries and you smack your lips, it has, like, a champagne gold type glitter. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And, like, when the light hits it, oh my god, I love it. That's why I was in my purse, because I wore that, I think, a few days ago. And I have about, like, seven lipsticks in there, and they're all, I think they're all nudes. Like, Jeffree Star, My Chapstick by Fresh. That was in there. The next product I'm about to show you was in there. Um, I said Jeffree Star. Christmas Cookies. That's always in my bag. My Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar is always in my bag. They're all nudes. Or glosses. Like, I just, they have to be on me at all times, because I don't know what mood I'm in. And I like my stuff. So, the next thing that I have, which is already open, this is the Lancome La Absolu Gloss in Rosy Plump. This was also purchased because Jeffree Star um, had it in one of his videos, and I was obsessed. Like, I needed it then and there. So, of course, my crazy self went and got it. So this is what it looks like. And it's just honestly, like, it's light pink, but it's, like, just a really, really perfect gloss. It's a little bit pricey. Um, I'll have everything linked down below. Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar, which I fell in love with because of Jaclyn Hill. Yes, I much, pretty much get all, like, my makeup advice from YouTubers, and I get my purchases because of YouTubers. So shout out to Jaclyn, Desi, Manny, Jeffrey. Because that's pretty much who I like listen to on a daily basis but um this is like a must like I need to have this all the time even if it's just bare like by itself it's just so it's so pretty it's just so nice I just I don't know and it smells it smells like like sugar and it has like see as you can see I don't know if you can see it has like my lipstick on it because I always have like like I'll put my Christmas cookies on and then I have the gloss on top mm love 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 so the next product I have I'm just going through the products that I've opened <laughs> um the next product I have is the Farsali um unicorn essence which I've been using a lot in my videos lately if you are a follower and you've been watching um this is what it looks like it's just a mini guy I got it while I was in line I saw I they didn't have the mini ones in the store like in the aisles so I was just like, oh my god, they have it, and I got it. And I have the big one down there too, and it's actually not opened yet. But this one is the baby one, which I think I like this one better than the gold elixir. I'm, I love the way this smells, and it's pink, 
and it's glittery and it's pretty and I use it a lot for primer and to like really hydrate my face. I don't like the smell of the gold one, but I'll explain it. Um, the next thing that I have, I'll just go right to it. So this is the other for Sally 24 K gold infused beauty oil. So this one is one ounce and it's actually in here. Um, I think I used this once or twice and I just can't get over the smell. Like I like it, but like the smell isn't bad. It smells like lemons, but like a weird, like a pine sully lemon. I don't know. It's weird, but like it has gold flecks in it, as you can see. And like, it's just, it's really nice, but I like that. I like the pink one better and it's not because it's pink. So I'm not a pink cut tippy person. I just like it because it just... I think because I love how it's all like when I put it all over my lips and my nose and my face and I just rub it in it just feels so good like the fact that it smells so delicious like if something smells really good you got me so so hold on oh the next thing which I did open is the hula light this is a rebuy I had the benefit cosmetics cheek prairie palette which has the hula regular hula light and I totally finished Hula Light. I haven't done something like that in so long, like hit pan and finished the entire pan. So I had the rebuy. So it's just basically, this works so much better for my skin. I like to use this to bronze and then a darker bronzer like the Hula Regular to like contour. So that's my thing. Um, the next thing that I do have is this, which I've been using during my videos. This is the Sephora Color Switch by Veramona. And it's basically like, a little spongy as you can see it's, it has eyeshadow on it but you can wash it too and you can flip it you can use both sides so this basically like you can use a color and swatch the color off instead of using your pants which if you saw my pants right now you'd probably be like Kaylee you're disgusting um so this is actually really handy for like makeup artists or youtubers or you know stuff like that if I'm talking really fast I'm sorry I just have a lot of products and I really don't want this video being like 20 minutes long there's no reason for that so the next thing that I have is, I use this once, and Vincent is so mad that I haven't been using this a lot. Um, this is the Perz Magic Highlighting Trio for Face, Eyes, and Lips by Kevin Aquan. So Kevin Aquan is a very expensive, high-end brand, and I think that's why he's kind of like, why haven't you been using this? But I've used it once, and it's really pretty, but it's very chunky. Very chunky. Um, and that's not like my thing. Um, hold on, I'm making a mess over here. So it looks like that, like that packaging is beautiful. And it, they're really, also, I don't like the fact that they're so tiny, at least tiny in my opinion. I mean, I've seen the Kat Von D highlighting like triangle holographic thing she had and I didn't buy it. It was way too small and I was just like, no, that's just not. So you have Aura, Illusion, and Enchanted. So I'm going to swatch it. It's really, they're really pretty, but they're really chunky. Like, really bad. Um, Jeffree Star used this in one video, and he, I think, put a Stila highlighting cream, and then this on top, and it was really blinding. So I may do that. Like, I may put a liquid at the bottom of it and do it that way. Otherwise, I don't know. Like, it's just... It's just really, I love the green. The green is beautiful. Um, it's just really chunky. Like, that's the only thing that I can really say about it. Um, so that's the purple blue one. That's Aura. Um, I don't know if you can see the bottom one. That one right there. It's like a goldish. Uh, that one's Illusion. And then the top one, if you can see right there, it's really blinding. It's called Enchanted. These are really pretty, like very pretty, and I love Kevin Kwan's foundation. Totally obsessed. So this is my second purchase by Kevin Kwan, and I will be using it for sure. Um, it just all depends. I may use it for like a Coachella look, or like a secret contest that I may be doing. No, that sort of thing. But um, I don't know. I just, I like when highlighters are smooth and creamy. I don't like... Like the really, I don't know, just, I'll shut up, forget it. <laughs> so we're almost done actually, I'm surprised. Um, 
So next is like skincare. And then I have one tool that I bought. So these are by far my favorite masks. I've used three of these before. So this is a rebuy and I've used this one before. This is a rebuy and this I've never used. So this one hydrates. Okay, so as I was saying, these are the ones that I keep on for an hour. Um, I've been using this for a while now and I really do like this a lot if you have dry skin or you just need some, you know, moisture, moisturization, <laughs> hydration for your face. Um, also, this one is a, your, God, unifying and brightening pink clay mask. I haven't used this one yet, but I'll let you know if I like it or not on my Instagram. Um, this one is purifying and pore perfecting. This is an exfoliant, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. I should say, yeah, exfoliating. And this one is not exfoliating. So this one is exfoliating, which I, I like to do twice a week. I also exfoliate with the Jeffree Star lip scrub because it has aloe in it and it's very natural and it doesn't damage my face at all. And like it does, it smooths the heck out of it love it okay anywho so this one is the dr jart water replenishment cotton sheet mask this is also um for hydration um this is what it looks like i have to use this in a video i actually like doc dr jart sheet mask it's the only sheet mask i actually like they don't damage my skin a lot of sheet masks do they give me um hives so just a fun fact um this one is the Dr. Jar Clear Skin Lover. Um, this is a clear wrapping rubber mask, which I'm pretty interested in um, figuring out how. This, so this one is for 30 to 40 minutes, so this is, this is right on my alley. Um, but this is what it looks like. Um, I may use this one very soon because I am breaking out. You may not be able to tell, but I am breaking out like right here really bad um, for some reason. Probably that time of the month, you know what I mean? No? Okay. Um, but yeah, so I have, I bought two of these. I didn't use this one. I used the other one, but I don't have the container. I threw it out by accident. This one is the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot. Um, I, this one is the rubber soothing mask. So this is good for like when I have like really irritated skin and, um, not necessarily dry, but like if it's red and just like patchy and stuff like that. So, like, I'll use this. Um, I used the other one. The other one was for hydrating, and it was really sticky. Um, I was kind of convinced after using that mask that it was pretty much, um, what's the word? A gimmick. Um, because you get to pour it in here, shake it up, and, like, this is an applicator, so it comes out. And it's really fun to do. Don't get me wrong. I do have that video in my Instagram, so go to Kill Barb if you were interested in seeing that. Um, this one you leave for 15 to 20 minutes. I think I did do that because I wasn't sure about these masks. But I mean, to me, I think they're a gimmick. And like when I go to Sephora, they're stocked with them. And I don't know if it's that's just because they just, you know, supplied the shelves or it's just they're not really selling. I don't know. I love Dr. Jart masks in general as well as Sephora masks in general. I used to like Glam Glow a lot, but some of their ingredients are really harsh for my face. Um, so I just stick to the Sephora and Tarte and Dr. Jart. So I'll be trying this out in an Instagram video soon, I promise, and I will let you know. But like I said, the other one was really sticky on my face after. Not like when I applied it on, because obviously. But it was like sticky when I took it off. Like Vincent was touching my face and he's like, do you still have stuff on your face? And I was just like, no, why? He's like, your face is really sticky. I don't like that. Like it should feel smooth. Like... The hydrating one by Sephora makes you feel so soft like a baby's butt. It's um, it's just great. Like, I will keep buying that mask over and over and over again to the day I die. Or until it stops production. Whatever. But, last but not least, so I'm going to put this bad boy over here. This is just a simple beauty blender. Um, I use beauty blenders for everything. I use Real Techniques. I use... Beauty Blender. Um, I just ordered Morphe Beauty Sponges because I've never tried it before and I'm really interested if it actually is worth the hype. According to Manny and Jacqueline, it is. So I'm going to test that out for myself. Um, I'm really particular when it comes to beauty, ooh, beauty sponges. I've used Veramona, which um, 
I need another one. They were out of stock in Sephora the last time I was in there. I like their sponge a lot. Um, Beauty Blender, of course. Real Techniques, um, sometimes. I like their mini ones, um, which I did just buy at TJ Maxx <laughs> for $2.99, and it came with two. I like their small ones a lot better than their bigger ones. I like their bigger ones for like baking my face rather than foundation application. Um, but for Beauty Blender Pro, I'm really like, they have like the pinks, the cream, the black, the blue, the tie-dye one, the white one, the purple one, the green one, the whatever one, like they have all these different things. Um, I tried the blue one, I didn't like it. The pink one, it's whatever very basic um the black one and then the tan one are my favorite the black one I've probably bought a black one five times no way more than that I bought a black one a bunch of times so this is my brand new one I'm actually using like my blue one right now and like it's not great I just don't like it I don't know like when I um damp it it gets it forms weird like it's not a big egg like it's it, like it bends and it's dented and it's just like I just wet you. Why are you freaking out? Like why are you changing your formation? Get back, mold back together. You know what I mean? But again, I am very particular and picky with my makeup and my tools and all that stuff. So if you have been following me for a while, you do know this. If you do not follow me, then I'm sorry to disappoint you there because. I'm very honest on this. I'm not sponsored by anybody by any means. Obviously, I have 80 subscribers and I have like 3,000 followers on Instagram. So, I mean, there's nothing for me to hide. Um, I don't get sponsored. I buy all my high-end makeup and my drugstore makeup all myself. I don't really get free stuff ever. I never got free makeup. I think I got like glitters before and like lashes. Um, and if you don't already know, even though this isn't a favorites video, um, I, the lashes that I have on right now are by Saturday Lashes. Um, I'm obsessed with Saturday Lashes. Um, they're a smaller brand, but they're very, very good lashes. Um, the ones I have on are Friday, hold on, sorry, here the box right here. Friday night, and it has, like, blue, this is, like, the little, their packaging is so cute, like, the box that came in was, like, the presentation was so nice. Like, you can tell that they take, they put a lot of work into their lashes, which is very nice because I've, I've gotten lashes like Dodo lashes, like, when I first started out, and it was just, mm-mm, no. Like, I don't know. I, I'm just very picky, I guess. But, like, if you haven't checked them out, definitely go on my Instagram. I tag them in everything because that's all the lashes I wear. I used to wear Ardell's all the time because I just started out, and they were, like, five dollars for a single thing and then there were like twelve dollars for like five pairs so i mean it was really convenient and really affordable i mean if you're on a budget ardell's at the drugstore cvs they're really good lashes too um also if you're just like practicing out makeup like you can just buy go on amazon and get like like i have a box from amazon and there's like 500 lashes 500 pairs of lashes in there yeah but, like, I only use them if, like, if I have to. But, like, if I'm really creating something important and, like, special to me, I'll use Saturday Lashes for a bet. And my favorites are Monday Ease, in case you're wondering. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to stop <laughs> uh, pretty much promoting Saturday Lashes. Even though I do love them. Like, if I love something, you'll know. Like, I won't, I'll keep rambling about them. Like, Maybe I should just do a freaking favorites video. No, I'm not going to. I'll do an April one. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I have from the last few weeks that I bought at Sephora. And um, yeah, if I say um one more time, I think if you can count how many ums I say in a video for every dollar, let's see how rich you are. Or like. I say like and um a lot. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, that was just my haul basically. I love going to Sephora. Uh, clearly, I love buying new makeup. I love trying new stuff. If I'm always follow, I follow Trend Mood on Instagram, and whenever something new is coming out, like I have to get it. Like if I think it's worth it, or if I think it's pretty enough, I have to get it. Like and Vincent knows. Vincent's a very big supporter. Like he's the best. 
I just, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have, like, his support, because, like, people think I'm crazy, that I'm YouTubing, and I do makeup for fun, and I, like, practice all the time. I just, I love makeup. It calms me down so much. It makes me so happy, and, like, I'm a very timid person, so the fact that I put myself out there on YouTube, it's a really big step for me, personally. My phone overheated, and I have no idea where I ended up, but that is pretty much, I wanted a short video, but anyway, um, that is pretty much my Sephora haul, so if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up at the end, and if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel, I like playing with my hair because it's a mess. Um, but yeah, I am, hold on. <laughs> I am Kayla June, Kale Barb on social media, and thank you so much for watching. And I have to adjust myself. And just stay tuned for next videos because I have a bunch coming up, and one is a secret. So, yeah, I'm excited. But, um, there goes the ums. Gosh. But yes, follow me at Kale Barb on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again for so much. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you next time. I feel like there's something that I'm missing, but I don't know, so I'm just gonna go. Okay, bye.